Hello everybody. Thank you for watching the video. Today we're going to do some repair uh, belt maintenance. I spun a belt on the pulley. This is an old 2005 Lesco Viper. 48 inch cut. I used it for a couple years. So I finally upgraded. It was a good machine. They cut grass but it didn't hide the grass too well. But for manicuring the lawn it looked good. Some of the deeper grass, uh, it cut it but it didn't cut the greatest. Um, so real quick, uh, I rolled the belt. I'll show it to you right now. Um, I don't buy belts anymore. I get aftermarket belts. I used to do this once a year at least on it. I haven't, excuse me, I haven't done it now for three years so I haven't used it much. Uh, one of the belts is an L4107. And the other one is a L583. I believe that this 583 goes from the engine to the top of the spindle. And I believe this one here runs all the blades. So you can see down here, which I'm going to block the light so you can get able to see too good. I rolled this belt. You can see it got twisted. And the people that operated it didn't know what they were doing. So uh, they kept going and eventually it popped off and they still kept cutting grass and it was smoking like crazy. But then again, some people don't do it every single day so they have no idea what's going on. They just kept cutting. Just like one time, I had a family member help me out. He was all excited to use my Z-Master, cut the lady's grass, he came out. And the lady was looking at the grass and questioning him. He was scratching his head, and uh, I'll make a long story short. He did everything except for, uh, for start the blades. So uh, there's a nice little thing here. So we have to recut it real quick and turn the blades on. The lady was happy. Uh, down in here, uh, it takes a half-inch breaker bar. Makes the job a lot easier. you got to roll the top belt off. That's a little bit of a pain in the butt. So I'm going to get you in the holder and get started. Okay, we're back at it. Let's hope that this uh, tripod stays together. I just got a half inch breaker bar right here. Hope everybody's having a good day. It's nice and windy today here in Buffalo. Check out that Blue Angels video I took yesterday. That was pretty hard to do. The sun was bright. It was a lot of fun checking them out. So if you get a chance, watch the Blue Angels video. I didn't talk at it at all. So you just take a, take your thing, run it this way. It takes the pressure off. Usually it comes off real easy. Not because I'm videotaping, it's not gonna come off easy today. Okay, so I got that off. Take that off, it's stuck around here, wrapped around. Put this back on. Usually I got the radio on, but can't play no music. Can't play any music because I take my videos off. Not cool. Doing this for free and I still take my stuff down. Not cool at all. Almost got that belt off. I gotta get the top belt off. This little rod right here, it moves. That puts tension on the top top belt that goes to the engine to the blades. Um, sometimes I used to use, lose a belt like that, but I didn't realize it. My idler pulley was worn out pretty good, and it just would pop off all the time. So I'm going to get this top belt off. Starting to come right 
put you on pause for a second. I got a big screwdriver to pry this off. Okay, so I'm going to cheat a little. I went and got a C-clamp. I'm going to use this to hold back on the uh, belt tensioner pulley. It's in the way a little bit. This is some of the adventures of being self-employed. Some of the headaches you go through. But in the long run, it's worth it. Make my own hours, charge my own prices. This is my uh, second one I had back in the day. I also had a 54-inch Viper, also a very good machine. The only major flaw at these machines was... Uh, wheel pumps when the wheel pumps busted if you didn't have a spare machine they're like a thousand bucks a piece and at that price it was time to, to get rid of them so good machines I remember when Lesco first came out with them I used to go to the local Lesco by my house I used to look at these things and I was like wow those are pretty nice because back in the day I had a, a 48 inch belt drive John Deere from like 1989 total piece of crap well, it's got a little bit wet. You had to push it around in the morning. It was terrible, but hey, it was a big cut back in the day. So, unfortunately, the guys at Lesco sold out. Now they're John Deere. I don't go there anymore. Not too knowledgeable. Not a big fan of John Deere stuff. Back in the day, I used to go to Lesco. The guys knew a lot. They'd give you a lot of information, help you out, and... Nowadays, nobody wants to do anything or look parts up. They want everything on the internet. Nobody wants to talk. You got to push this button and talk to this to talk to that. And it's just a big hassle. So I'm still having a problem getting this belt off. I'm going to put you on pause for a minute again, recuperate, and gather up my thoughts. Okay, I finally got it off. I use this as a little cheater bar. It's just an extension for uh, paddle bits. It was the first thing I could find. Through the magic of television, that only took 10 minutes to get it off, but it's off. We're making progress. This is exactly why I bought a new lawnmower. This is going on the third season with it. Don't need to come home and deal with aggravation. Work on these junk pieces of shit. Pay the bill. Charge enough money, you don't even realize it. Nothing's worse than coming home and I have to spend a couple hours in the evening messing with junk. It's a good machine. If you're using it just at your house, not to make money. But unfortunately, things get old. Break down. Try to start wearing out and get enough hours on them. Makes for a lot of fun. Used to carry these with me all the time in the truck because it would always break somewhere along the route. You guys can see it. Spins upside down, people don't recognize it that it's flipped over and it gets a groove and it's shot. Cheater hanger helping me out. Oh my pressure now on that guy.
course it's stuck under here. Gotta be kidding. Gotta be kidding. Yep, it only gets better. I gotta get this nut off to take that bracket off. See, that's a 916th there. Okay, I need to tell you there's a little hidden 916th that holds the bracket, that holds the cover on the guard. I have to take that off in order to get the belt off. We're making progress finally. Got the new belt right here. Have to call in the morning and order a new one because who knows how long this is gonna last. Might be a couple days, might be a year. Who knows? <laughs>